Assalamu alaikum. Our topic today is tennis. What is tennis? Tennis in grammar shows the time of the action or degree of the action or state of the action. Now we know, we all know this fact that there are three tenses present, past, future. It means that when action took place in the past, it is called past tense when it is when it is taking place in the present time, when it is present tense, and when it will take place in future time, then it is future tense. Now in each tense there are four types. That is simple. It is also called indefinite. Progress or continuous. Perfect or perfect continuous. Sorry, perfect and last one is perfect continuous. Before we will discuss these four types of each tennis present simple, past simple, future simple, and uh, present continuous, past continuous, etc. There is one important point or important issue, uh, I mean thing, that often creates confusion in our minds. That is when we say, I try, why we say, he tries, or water boils, why not water boil? Why it is incorrect? Why we say that sun rises? Why it is wrong when we say sun rises? We should be aware of this fact that there are three persons. One who talk. It is he is called first person. Singular is I, plural is we. And then sec then there is second person to whom we talk. Singular is you, plural is we. Then there is third person about whom we talk. That is he, she, these are singular it, and we, sorry, they, earth. Sky, water. It means that third person, it may be living, non living, human being. In short, about whom we talk. If it is third, if it is singular, then in present indefinite, we have to take S or ES or IES in the end of that word. We have to add these things. For example, if I say water dash dash at 100 degrees Celsius, it is boil. Water, we are talking about water, it becomes third person, it is singular, therefore it takes as boils. Now, I teach, if I say he Dash. It will be like this, he teaches. But here we have added ES, here we have added S. Now, one thing is clear that it takes S, E, S or I, E, S. When it is third person singular in present indefinite. But where we will use S, where we will use I, E, S, where we will use uh, E, S. Remember the verbs that end SS, SH, CH, X, O, add ES. For example, uh, I do my work, you do your work, they do their work. 
but if it is he he is third person singular and the verb ends at o therefore we have to use es when it ends when the uh, when the letter is o we have to use es he does his work and if the verb ends in y but it is preceded by a consonant consonant then before adding es we have to first of all change to y into i what does this mean for example i pray she prays i have not changed this this y into i because the condition is that y must be preceded by a consonant but here is vowel but if there is i they for example they try if third person singular now we will take third person singular ali ali y is preceded by a consonant first of all we have to change this y into i then we have to add es ali tries it means that if there if the verb ends in y but we have to we have to see that whether it is preceded by a consonant or not in case it is preceded by a consonant change it into i and then add es if it is not preceded by a consonant it is preceded by a vowel then you have to only add the s and the rest of the verbs which do not have these letters in their end or this y that is not preceded by a consonant add simply s clear now we will come in main point that is present simple where we use this present simple we use it to express a universal truth or general truth for example sun dash dash in the east it it is a universal truth truth from the beginning of the universe we see that sun rises in the east we have to use present indefinite not rose not rise not have rise only but there is now rise and rises both are present but it is third person singular therefore we have to choose rises we have to write rises because we have to add s because now there is no s s c h s uh, x or o uh, likewise we can say that green plants dash dash store from water sunlight water carbon dioxide in presence of sunlight prepare now green plant is always prepared storage from inorganic compounds that is water and carbon dioxide in presence of sunlight therefore we, it is a universal truth but it means that we can't write here prepared we can write prepare why not prepares is also present in definite but here it is third person plural it does not need s e s or i e s and the second thing is that usage i mean where we use present in definite that is habit when a sentence how we can recognize that it is a habit or it is a routine when there is in the end every sunday every week every month or always or often or frequently or usually 
then use present indefinite in short for example buses generally dash dash at bus stop generally halt we can write halt if there is bus then we have to write halt but it is buses third person plural here we use present indefinite that is halt is uh, and like during winter he often dash dash with hot water with warm water bath it is often it is his routine therefore we can use often baths present tense i mean present tense thank you